Pretty good, pretty good. Thank Thanks. you for, uh, and you two knew it, know each other, of course. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You know, a little well, bit. Yeah, you worked in a movie a long time ago. <laughs> now, of all the work you've done, Paul, do most people know you from Clueless, such a big hit smash? Yeah, pretty much. That's, yeah. that's the one most people say. Actually, just the other day, I was at this, at, at an airport, and there was a group of uh, young girls, there was a softball team, and they were kind of looking at me, and I thought, oh, they've probably seen Clueless. And Because uh, they seemed like the girls that would go see Clueless. They're kind of the right age, yeah. yeah. And um, so I was trying to play it cool, and, and they, one of them said, have, have you ever seen the movie Clueless? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, yeah, I have seen it. She said, did anyone ever tell you that you look like the guy from Clueless? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, yeah, I've, uh, actually, I've, I've heard that before. And then she said, are you the guy from Clueless? <laughs> and I said, yeah, yeah. And, and she said, oh, my gosh, I love that movie. But, so do you still act? <laughs> Good and I read bad, the paper but... that you attacked a softball team. Yeah, yeah. airport. You know, you guys, you guys were talking about Frank Stallone. Yeah, and um, you, you know, he was my—that was actually my very first celebrity sighting. Was Frank Stallone? I am so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I knew, I knew it was Frank Stallone because he was wearing a baseball hat that um, said Frank Stallone. <laughs> Honest to God, dude. that is great. And it was an arrow pointing down. It just... <laughs> Well, the I, head enclosed by this hat is Frank Stallone's I head. I saw him from a distance and I thought, is that Frank? Yeah, yeah, that's Frank Stallone. Yeah. And then you didn't go up to him, did you? No, I didn't want okay. to bother him. Yeah, he was headed to his island, his <laughs> island retreat. Now, uh, I found out today that you, I don't know if this is true, you DJ, used to be a DJ for bar mitzvahs. That's what you did to make money. For is this true? Yeah, for about a year and a half. And bat mitzvahs. And weddings. The, the, and... Let me help me because this is not my world, but I'm trying to learn it. it, uh, it, it, it the, the bar mitzvah is the it's, guy. It's for a guy, and a, and a bat mitzvah is, is for a girl. Right. And it was a, it was really an awful job, and I did it for about a year and a half. But it was cool because I was in school, but I could I'd work on weekends, and uh, I I started off with this company called um, You Should Be Dancing, <laughs> and, and 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 then. Uh, it sounds kind of accusatory, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You should be dancing, buddy. <laughs> so I, I did a lot of uh, bar mitzvahs, and, and it was kind of rough because you have to keep the party going. You know, you have to get all the kids excited about MC Hammer and, and, and you know, <laughs> Limbo. and, and, and it, is, How old are the kids? Are, is that 13? 13 years old. Right, okay. And it was really not my personality so much, but I... I it, it, I would do it anyway, and, and I remember specifically on one Saturday, we would have two parties sometimes, because some, some boys would read from the Torah in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and then other, other boys would, would be bar mitzvahed at night. And so I would have two parties. And uh, I remember one day uh, going to, I did the first party, and then the second party, I was on about hour 16 of working, and I lost it. Mm -hmm. I was so punchy and hated it so much that uh, I was out dancing with the kids, and... Wait, you're supposed to be the DJ. Yeah, no, but you, you have to show them how much fun the party is. So you, <laughs> you, you dance with them. So you'd get the, you'd get the disc spinning, and yeah, then you'd yeah, run like, out hey, there. Come on, hammer. Yeah. And, 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 and we'd, Were you and we'd wearing dance. genie pants by any chance? <laughs> the hammer pants? Yeah, hammer <laughs> pants. Sorry. No, but I actually did have the lines in my haircut. And, uh, oh, my God. Uh, oh. No, I'm... I'm I'm kidding. Uh, but I, I started just freaking out and dancing like a kind of this spaz. And um, uh, I am and, familiar with that yeah, dance. And, and, <laughs> and these kids started to to laugh and cl kind of clear the floor. And I thought, oh god, now I'm like kind of stuck. I got to keep this going. And my boss got on the microphone and said, "Hey, everybody, it's Donnie Dweeb." And um, <laughs> And, and, Great. and so uh, I thought, oh, God. Oh. And so I, I kept it going and, 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 and thought, I'll just ride this out and be done with it. And then the next weekend, I was doing another bar mitzvah, and these kids came up to me and said, hey, aren't you the guy that does the dork dance? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, what are you talking about? Yeah. And they said, no, last week at, at, uh, at, at Ira Schneeweiss's bar mitzvah, <laughs> you, you did the dork dance. And I said, no. And they ran to my boss and said, hey, have him do the dork dance. And, and my boss said, man, you got to do it. 
So he put on music, and then I did it again. And then I started getting requested to do bar mitzvahs specifically to do this <laughs> this dance. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh, it what was... is, tell me some idea. Can you just give us any idea of what this dance was like? I mean... You got it. You, we got to see. I'll do my signature move. Your signature move. The All signature right. move that would always kind of uh, end the dork dance was. Um, I gotta probably get some. Space do you need here. music this, for this? Are you okay? I think I could probably do without. Okay. All right. Uh, Did that in the movie that you guys did together? On top of a car. On top of a truck. I try and now incorporate it in, in, in everything I do. Maybe you should change your this... professional name to Donnie Dweeb. But... Yeah. Why not? It's probably not in SAG already. I yeah, could... yeah, you know, you're gonna, there's some kid that's going to see you now in an airport and go like, aren't you Donnie Dweeb? <laughs> yes, I, uh, yes, I was. Are you biggest... still working? The biggest drag is that, like, you know, I, I did it at least 40 times, and there were videographers at all of these parties, so... It's, it's almost worse than having pornos in the closet. You know, I was like, some of them, these tapes are going to surface. And... No, I, and the other thing is there are these shows now that just specifically, I mean, right now, someone who works on one of those shows is going to hear this conversation, go and find it. It's going to be on Before <laughs> They Were Stars. Look familiar, Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Maybe that won't happen. No, no, I hope not. But, uh, uh... Well, it's uh, better things, better things. Life is good now. <laughs> Wet Hot American Summer is uh, going to be in theaters July 27th. And uh, those are great stories. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Thanks for coming by. Paul Rudd, everybody. We'll take a break. Stick around. Brian Setzer coming up.